Hi, and welcome to uh, another video about Star Wars X-Wing miniatures. This is a how to use uh, the pattern analyzer upgrade card together with the push the limit. And in my example, I have chosen post ship. Um, this is a do over, as I said, um, because in my pre previous video about pattern analyzer. I actually forgot um, some very crucial <laughs> things to mention, so they will be in this video. So let's start from uh, the top, and uh, I will show you how uh, it works. I will make sure to remember all things. Um, First of all, we got Poe, he can of course take actions, and he can get stress, etc. Um, so first, all, first off, he will make a green, one move, one forward, yes, he will then take a focus, I will then use push the limit and make a boost action so now we are here yes he will receive a stress for push the limit and because because of pattern analyzer actually what we do is we do not put the stress down before after the action step um, where pattern analyzer moves your check stress step after uh, the perform action step and in this case we revealed a green dial we have taken our actions the stress is coming here but as I moved a green I will remove the stress so two actions no stress that's pretty good yes Okay, now I seem to toss away uh, my dial. Um, but we will manage, we will manage. Um, let's make a white maneuver with Poe. Yes. Um, we will make a white. Three, turn, sharp turn, yes, and we will move it down here, we will again take our focus, and we will use our push the limit, and of course the stress should have been there with the green also, and then we have taken our actions, then we check for stress and it's a white maneuver so we will not move the uh, stress so two actions one stress business as usual yes and now that's third party here we will make a talon roll a red maneuver we make the talon roll, we take focus, because remember the check stress step is moved uh, after um, action step, and we then use push the limit to boost, take stress for push the limit, and it was a red maneuver, so that gives you two stress, but you did actually get two actions. This would also allow you to take one action, uh, of course, if only one action you will still have one stress because of the red maneuver, but the uh, red maneuver and an action, that is uh, quite good in some cases. 
And uh, yeah, let's let's take a look at the worst case scenario. I've got this little fella. Remember the rules. You fly through this, you get stress. You need to roll a die on a crit, you get a crit. But let's go four straight. Oh, uh, sorry, four K turn. Yep. Take focus. Uh, use. Push the limit. Yeah, okay. I will move this back a little. Like this. So we will take stress for push the limit. Stress for the K turn. Stress for the debris. Yes. So, let's see if I actually got this correct. Um, I. Yeah. So, three stress when moving through a debris field, but two actions. I don't know if that uh, is worth it, but uh, sometimes it may be needed. But yeah, this was a correction video. Um, I learned it from a comment to my previous video, so now I wanted to give you the full video with the green, white and red maneuvers. So uh, as he wrote in a, in a comment uh, in my previous video, uh, there are four options. A green maneuver, that's two actions, no stress. A white maneuver is two actions, one stress. And a red maneuver is one action, one stress. And a red maneuver with puts the limit, two actions, two stress. Okay. So hope this uh, was more understandable and I didn't forget so many things in this video. Hope to see you soon. Remember to uh, like my comments. Like my comments, yeah, like my videos and comment my videos. Subscribe to my channel. Um, contact me if you got a video that uh, you want me to make and see you soon in another video in the future um, toodaloo bye